Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to say hi to all the new people and welcome back to all my regulars. I do playthroughs and reviews and give you some gameplay at the end of the reviews. And with that being said, let's get to the video. So today we're taking a look at Space Engineers. Now, I'm going to be upfront. When I first got the game, I actually didn't enjoy it and uninstalled the game. But one day I had an itch for a space survival game and remembered I had this. So I reinstalled the game after a year of not playing it. And honestly, I'm glad I gave it a second chance. Currently right now, I have 91 hours in the game and I've been enjoying every little bit of it. Let's talk about the story. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of tricky. So on one hand, you have these different scenarios that you can do to give yourself more of a story driven type of content. And each scenario has many different things for you to do. Like one has you exploring a base in space and trying to figure out what happened to all the people that were in the base. And on the other hand, the game has a survival mode where you land on a planet of your choosing and try to survive while building a base to eventually build a spaceship to leave the planet and explore the universe. This is actually the mode that I played the most and honestly the best mode in my opinion. It gives you free range to play at your own pace and build whatever your heart desires. You can also play this in multiplayer or join servers that have big factions that you can join or have big space battles with and all of it is player driven. Let's talk about the world. So this game is big. No, like really big. The worlds are actual sized planet worlds and the universe is pretty much endless with multiple planets to explore. Each planet has resources for you to collect that will help you craft things that you unlock through the progression tab in your crafting menu. This game also lets you terraform the land so you can make a full mining cave or build your base inside of a mountain. The choice is yours and you're free to do it however you want to. Let's talk about the gameplay. So pretty much the game is just a building simulator. There's no food or water so you don't have to worry about that. But there is an oxygen meter and depending on what planet you land on, you're going to need all the resources to survive. When you first land on a planet, you land in a drop pod with the basic things needed to get started. From there, you need to collect stone and break that down to make the next upgrade to help you progress. Your hand drill has an ore detector on it that has a range of 50 meters, and you're going to need it to go out and explore and find whatever resources that you need at the time. And since the main focus of this game is to build a spaceship and get off the planet, you're going to need a lot of materials, especially since each piece that you build actually has a purpose to whatever you're building. Now, now, I can't lie, sometimes the gaming loop of it can kind of get repetitive, but overall it was pretty relaxing. Let's talk about the combat. Okay, so there is combat in this game. And it ranges from PvP with other players or PvE with your friends. Or you can join factions on multiplayer servers and have PvP battles with them or do PvE content too. And you do have different guns that you can make too, from pistols to assault rifles. So there's three types of combat situations in this game. The first one is the very janky wolves that attack you from time to time at your base and that I found very annoying for some reason. The second is the ship to ship combat, whether that being your small ship trying to take down other small ships or large ships or your very large frigate trying to take down large ships or small ships. It honestly depends on what type of ship that you build. The third type is ground combat with other players or with NPCs that live in the world. And since you can actually raid other players' ships, you're gonna need to make sure that you have the best weapons to prepare you for what's out there. Now, a lot of this really depends on your settings and you can choose what type of settings that you want when you create your game. You can play this whole game solo and turn off wolves and other NPC interactions. Heck, on my playthrough, I turned off wolves and NPCs because all they do is constantly attack and all I wanted to do was build. Now, I know I've had some good things to say about the game, but this brings me to everybody's favorite part. Let's talk about the cons. So my first con is actually the combat. It's really janky. And at times, especially the ground combat can get really, really janky. Guns don't really feel impactful. And the wolves that attack your base tend to glitch around a lot and become more of an annoyance than anything. Sometimes you'll shoot them and feel like you're not hitting anything, even though your shots are dead on target. My second con is the planets just feel so empty. Even with turning the NPCs on, the world just felt really empty. And when you do have the NPCs on, 
it just feels like all they do is just attack you and that's all their purpose is there for overall i really love this game and can't wait for the second one to come out from building your dream ship to lightning striking your base i give my first impressions of the game a nine out of ten this game is good and a lot better with friends or join a multiplayer server well now i'm gonna leave you with some gameplay you guys take care okay bye I see it. And then, and then right click. Or left click. Alright. Yeah, it should be working. This weapon is out of ammunition. Well. Hey, let's go. Apparently it's working good. Right, uh, I got my iron missile. I got my missiles armed, bro. Alright, let's go. I'm following you. I got eyes on you. We got three targets coming up. Raj, I see them. What's that thing? Oh, is it my engines is shooting? It's shooting me still. Oh no, Jake. I'm going down, Jake. My Gatling gun is not working. I got rockets. Whoa, it hit me. It hit me. What? I didn't shoot no rockets yet. I haven't shot anything. He's shooting rockets. I'm shooting rockets. Oh, watch out, Jake. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, man. My ship is uh I gotta I gotta I gotta repair. Otherwise I'm gonna go down. It's going down. I lost one of my thruster pods. You're going down? No, 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 I lost one of my thruster pods. Alright, let me repair over here real quick. Get myself aligned, right. Can't repair those. What I need steel plate construction stuff. Oh, I don't have the technology, unknown technology. I have to research it first. I lost my ship, Ralph. I'm about to lose mine too. Especially because it's still on fire. And I don't have the components, nor, nor do I know the research for it. Worst part is I don't know where the house is at. It should be on your tack map.
I'm coming in, but my ship's destroyed. I'm at this station. This is an ore handling facility. That must be the station then. That's right, well, baby. Oh! There's internal, there's internal turrets. That's not good, that's not good. All right, the odor defenses of that place is gone. 